Blunted Metal Work, uh, May 5th, 2017. This is 1095, 316 thick. I redo it multiple times. This area, the edge here is about 64 Rockwell. And the sharpened wood 15 uh, degrees per side and two stroke per side micro bevel. Uh, it, it's sharp. It, uh, it finished at uh, the micro bevel at 5K stone. The arrow I pointed there is a chip, pre existing chip right there. Uh, this is a uh, um, hard test, chopping test. Standard 2x4, temporary handle. So. Twist is pie. Oak. They hit the uh, area of uh, pre-existing chip. Alright, so uh, we have that and then, oh yeah, one more wood. This is rose wood. I chop in the end here to save some, uh, I don't want to waste so much wood. And yeah, when you deflect and shot, it is really rough on uh, it's this I can see some roll here you can uh, really hard to it's uh, it, because it's too sharp but anyway hard to see now pork rib bone I'm going to chop in this area This is a little bigger. Let's go through this. All right. Now most of the row now is still row. I mean, it, they're not really chip at all. Yep. So, so now I got that two. And now, if you were, uh, well, regardless of the knife steel, this or that, there's certain tasks that is hard. So whether you can do it to uh, my tough knife or this or that, this you this geometry, do this task, and you look at the damage amount. And this is, uh. Aluminum tubing is fairly thick, relative to as you can see. And it's ripple a little bit. You can see the edge well with the uh, of the tubing there. And I do not see, maybe that chip I don't see, but there definitely is something here. Look like a ripple and bent here. But that is clean cut of this tubing, very thick. And with, again, as we talk about thin geometry here, so either you deny make it or it doesn't. And this is uh, 16D nail. I found that using the brick is uh, really efficient to chop through a nail. Uh, 
Okay, I need to hold the shot less you can see the end result. Otherwise, I'm going to jump anywhere around here. It, you just slow down the motion, you will see that it uh, went right through with it. And this thing, the damage is probably about half of sharpening bevel. And this is right there, that was a chop right through it. Let's uh, do one more, close to it. Much bigger chip at the similar area, so I think I just compounded it, and then last job. It, it broke it. I was split it up, and the last job right there. So I think there is a compound effect of the two chop in the same place, all bad entry. But this is when you are purposely chopping something like a nail and the uh, thickness is actually very thin right there. So by the time we got with here, the damage is about 0.3435, I mean 35,000 uh, of an inch. All right, thanks for watching.